quick update. I promised you guys I would share with you all how I feel on the Kerrygold Unsalted Butter. I brought it home when I bought it four or five days ago from Costco. And then I filmed a video just to let you guys know what I noticed. I do not have any negative adverse reactions to the unsalted butter. So here's my conclusion. I still think having cultures and skim milk in the ingredients list of something that I eat so much of every single day is just not ideal. I would much rather go and lean on and support a better butter brand with only one ingredient, the necessary solo ingredient, pasteurized cream. And I already have one that I've been loving, the Vital Farms unsalted butter. So I think the conclusion here is, first of all, how do you feel on this butter? If you've been loving Kerrygold Unsalted and you've been feeling fantastic, do you want to continue eating a butter that has three ingredients as opposed to just one? 